Hello everybody, this is Data Rescue 3 for Mac. Today we're going to talk about how to run a deleted file scan on a hard drive. These are the choices in Data Rescue 3. Start new scan, resume suspended scan, and browse completed scan. We're going to choose start new scan. This is step one of three in Data Rescue 3. This is where you select a hard drive that you're going to scan. We're going to choose the internal boot drive of a Mac. We're choosing the drive itself, not the volume. And then we select next. And this is step two of Data Rescue 3. We have the choices here, quick scan, deep scan, deleted file scan, clone, analyze, and file IQ. We're going to choose a deleted file scan and then hit start. This is where Data Rescue 3 asks you to choose a workspace. Workspace meaning a secondary hard drive, which is temporary storage. It has to be Mac compatible, uh, attached to the Mac. We're going to select a drive and hit choose. This starts the scanning process. Now that a scan will run, Data Rescue 3 will look for these deleted files in the empty space or the free space of the hard drive. This is where the deleted files reside after they have been deleted off the hard drive. These files will show up with generic names because the metadata that holds the file structure and the file names is stripped off the file once the file has been deleted. And this is the scan to run when you have accidentally deleted files that you are in need of. So here we are, step three of three, and this is the scan results on the left, and we show the reconstructed files folder. Below that, we have archives, audio, documents, images, mail, miscellaneous, movies. And under each of these folders, there are subfolders for di different categories. So in under documents, of course, we have a office folder. And as you can see, all these files are under generic names. But these are usable files. We are going to select the documents folder, check mark it, and then hit recover. Now Data Rescue 3 asks you for a destination drive to where to recover it to. We'll go under devices and choose the drive that we will recover this data to. And then we select open. This is the last step of the recovery process. This will move the files from the scan into the external hard drive that we have chosen to recover the data to. Once the recovery is finished, uh, you have a choice of revealing and looking at the folder in the external hard drive where the scan has deposited these files. 
So here we are at scan two in the external hard drive. It shows you what files have been put there, the reconstructed files folder, documents folder. And that concludes our deleted file scan. And the files are here for you to use. Includes our deleted file scan. And the files are here for you to use.